Thessaloniki is full of great things to see uh, that help us to understand what's going on in the letters 1 and 2 Thessalonians. And the Greeks chose to build up the city because it's safe. Uh, it's got a natural harbour and so the, the Mediterranean Sea itself is a little further out. And it, so this area is protected when there's uh, rough weather. And for that reason it became a rather large port city. And so you see Paul in coming here actually picked a very good city that would help for the spread of Christianity at a relatively rapid pace. He, he had a dream. He was in Turkey over in Asia Minor. He had a dream about coming to Macedonia. He saw a man in a dream that told him to come to Macedonia. And the city, Thessaloniki, is one of the central cities of the province, of the Roman province of Macedonia. We're here at the site of ancient Thessaloniki. And uh, what you can see here behind me is uh, a lot of stuff that has existed in Paul's time and prior to Paul's time uh, in the second from the second century BC and we've got over way over there we've got some baths and here we're sitting on an odium this odium is actually later but a number of these uh, structures were here in Paul's day so there is stuff to see here from the time of Paul. an area so if you have a look around you'll see what remains so we know actually quite a bit about the occasion of the, for the letter of one Thessalonians just come from Philippi where he has been basically driven uh, out of the city more or less because um, of the opposition that he experienced there. And he comes with his um, two companions which is um, Timothy and Silas. He comes to this city and he is finding some people, uh, going to the synagogue and preaching here, trying to teach people, showing, trying to show people from the um, Hebrew Bible that um, the Messiah had to suffer and that he was raised from the dead and then he said that this basically is Jesus. And so we may very well be standing over the, the site of the old synagogue. It's somewhere here in this area. It was it burned down in uh, 1917. Um, he's basically also driven out of the city. When they had passed through Amphi Amphipolis and Apollonia, they came to Thessal Thessalonica, where there was a Jewish synagogue. As was his custom, Paul went into the synagogue, and on three Sabbath days he reasoned with them from the scriptures. Later it talks about the Jews becoming jealous, so they rounded up some bad characters from the marketplace, which is around where we are. Formed a mob and started a riot in the city. They rushed to Jason's house in search of Paul and Silas in order to bring them out, of the, out to the crowd. When they did not find them, they dragged Jason and some, others, some other brothers before the city officials, shouting. These men have caused trouble all over the world, have now come here. And uh, he eventually makes his way to Athens and then to Corinth. And in Corinth, um, he then sends a letter to this church or to the small group of believers that have um, started um, here in Thessaloniki. And um, yeah, so. We know that the group here that stayed back, that came to believe because of uh, the preaching of Paul, actually also faced um, persecution and, and opposition. And he's picking up that topic um, in the first letter. In the letters of 1 and 2 Thessalonians from Paul, Paul encourages the community to endure, to persevere during a time of persecution. And then we have this picture here that shows a number of martyrs who themselves from Thessaloniki 
uh, suffered for their faith as well. The In the book of 1 Thessalonians, uh, Paul writes, You also became imitators of us and of the Lord, having received the word in much tribulation, in other words, with much suffering, with the joy of the Holy Spirit. And so Paul's writing to the Thessalonians who've experienced suffer suffering and they are going to keep experiencing it. I'm standing here in the palace of the Emperor Galerius, who was around in the towards the end of the third century, and he was one of the last emperors to persecute the Christians in Thessaloniki. And so, one of the most famous saints that he persecuted is Demetrius, and so you can see that the suffering that uh, went on under his reign had gone right back to the time of Paul. These um, are the crypts under the Church of St. Demetrius in Thessaloniki and um, this is probably where you had a, va a pretty big Roman bathhouse and allegedly in this bathhouse was kept Demetrius, one of the martyrs in Thessaloniki under the persecution of Galerius, right before um, the, the, M the Roman Empire became Christian, so the emperor before Constantine, or one of the emperors before Constantine, uh, at the end of the third, beginning of the fourth century. Thessalonians is the issue of the resurrection of the dead. So people are worried, they're grieving in Thessalonica because Christians have died and they think that that means they've missed out. Um, and so that seems to be one of the things that drives Paul to write this letter. dead believers have missed out. Um, there is a resurrection of the dead. And so this seems to have been a, an important issue for Paul, the, the idea that Christians, uh, believers in Christ, are going to follow Christ by being raised from the dead. 